Listen, I ask this question no matter where I'm at, no matter where I'm speaking at, and I'm going to ask it again. Aren't you glad we elected Donald Trump to be the 45th president of the United States of America? I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear nobody. Listen, I am so excited to be here today to make a loud declaration to the world that we are tired of those race baiting Democrats. We have made it clear that we will never sit back and let you destroy our freedom, our liberty, our just, and the American way. If you believe me, shout yes. yes. Listen, we are here because we're standing with Brandon, and aren't we glad Brandon stood up and decided to walk away? Listen, we're walking away from fake friends because, listen, if they stopped being your friend because you walked away, they was never your friend in the first place. And we are tired. And I saw a video recently of, of a black American. And listen, I'm happy that I'm call, I call myself a black American. I, I, I was never in that. I never, never been to Africa. I, I, <laughs> listen, I'm proud to be an American. That's okay. Is that okay? Is that okay? It's amazing how we got to try to identify ourselves with cultures that we that we never listen. If I'm an African American, then you must be a Russian American or an English American. Y'all not saying nothing. An Argentinian American, y'all. A European American. But I bet you I got just my Americans in the building today. If you are, show yes. And this is why I'm fighting. And I'm going to continue to fight. I'm getting on the plane right now. As soon as we leave here, Eric and Laura Trump and myself, we're going to Las Vegas. We're going to continue to fight in Vegas. We're going to win these midterms. And we're going to make sure that we retain the House and the Senate to support who I believe is the greatest president that America has ever seen, Donald J. Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Somebody say, I'm fired up. Say, I'm fired up. And I will not back down. They did messed up by allowing us to speak here in Washington, D.C. Because we are letting them know. Listen, I saw a video of a black man being bullied by a, man, a white liberal for wearing the Make America Great Again hat. Listen, I was talking to Casper backstage, who is a part of the Bikers for Trump. Aren't you? Don't y'all love Bikers for Trump? And, I, and as I'm talking to people, they get confused because I'm called Pastor Mark Burns. And they, 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 they think that, you know, just because I'm pastor and we are the conservatives and we are the supposedly solid majority, that you can just step to any of us and we won't do anything about it. The devil is a liar. Listen, I've come to serve notice on every white, liberal, black, liberal, racist, 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 fake Democrats, that if you step to one of us, you step to all of us. I can't hear nobody. I can't, I can't hear nobody. And this is why Donald J. Trump speaks so boldly. Because I don't care about CNN. I don't care about MSNBC. I don't care what the liberal media might say. We don't belong to them. We belong to God Almighty. And 
and this is a Christian nation, a God nation. This nation belongs to God. This is why they hate us. They hate us because they can't stop us. And no matter how loud they get, we get loud. USA, 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 USA. We've come, America. We've come to declare war on every person that's trying to destroy our way of life here in America. And this is why I'm so happy to stand with the walk away movement because, yeah. Because we are walking away from liberalism. We're walking away from hatred. We're walking away from bigotry. We're walking away from fake people who try to declare that immigrants are more important than the citizens of the United States of America. I can't hear nobody. If you believe me, shout yes. If you agree me, shout yes. And this is why we're fired up. And we won't stop. We won't slow down. We won't shut up. We will never die. And this is why right now, they're even trying to take God out of our national anthem. Listen, if you hate bigotry, if you hate the division created by identity politics, if you stand with Americans, let me just say it like this. The walkaway movement is simply this. It doesn't matter if you're black. It doesn't matter if you're white, brown. It doesn't matter if you're yellow or red. It doesn't matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're straight. It doesn't matter if you're Christian or Jew or Muslim. If you love this country and you fight for the United States of America, if you're declaring that I love America, then you are part of the walk away movement. Walk away, walk away. Shout it! Shout it! Say it! They're trying. I'm going to say this, and I'm getting out of here. I'm going to hit on a plane. We're going to Las Vegas. We're going to Missouri, and we're going to make sure if the President Trump said to me, he said, Mark, we can't win 2020 until we win 2018. This is why we're fighting. This is why I'm thanking the walkaway movement. But they're trying to take God out of our national anthem. They're trying to take God out of everything because they want to declare that this world was made just for by man. And that's a lie. If you believe it, shout yes. yes. They're sending little children home with little slips. They're sending children home with little slips saying, you don't have to say the Pledge of Allegiance because it has God in it. Do you, have y'all heard that? How you agree with that? And so right now, let me declare that I, Mark Burns, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice. God bless you, D.C. God bless you, walk away, USA!